in my lifetime, I've had a very complex relationship with carbs. Ladies and gentlemen, Deion Sanders, the legend, is one of the most versatile athletes in the history of sports. This man right here is one of the most versatile creators in entertainment. Thank you. Drink, thanks for having us here your That's new great. spot, Pick Six. Great kind intro. Oh, baby, stop debating, I'm just a creative. I be walking around the six like I invented it, boy. Next move better than my last move. Your next move can't erase your past move. Started out doing college shows, Calipari flow, then I pop MVP, MVP, 09 all the way to 16. Even next season looking like a breeze. A lot of y'all ain't built for the league. Yeah. The aforementioned Deion Sanders. He's famous for his affinity for intercepting passes, running it back to the end zone for a touchdown to pick six. Who gets credit for the name pick six in your crew? I do. You get credit for yeah, it. Yeah, I thought of it. Yeah. When and how? Well, I mean, like I watch, I watch a lot of football, mostly college football. Did you see Alabama win the national championship? No, the other I'm day? disgusted by you. Alabama and the Crimson Tide. They're fifth national championship in nine years. I always get this thing like, oh, bandwagon this and bandwagon that. I've been an Alabama fan since I was young because my name is Aubrey. My mom used to buy me the clothes with the A on it. I heard them say it on the TV. And I and, we, and Chubbs have been asking me for a while, like, you know, if you could think of a name for the spot, that'd be great. And so I just hit him like, what about pick six? Mac Williams! Williams! Pick six! Tied! Rolling! What is your favorite type of pick six? Is it like an athletic defender, like a DB? You know, catch the ball, no, weaves his way big, through. It's the big man pick the line, six. The yeah, line. Line. It's the big man pick six. The best part about that is the way that they run. Like yeah. they run like. And if they get like a straight truck roll, like just like run somebody over on the way. Amazing. That's like that's the best thing you could ask for, you know. We all know that at the Air Canada Center, you have those courtside seats. You know, when Drake is in the building, the visiting team always gets an earful. Nice for what? Hey, Jacko, imagine if I never met the Broskis. The Raptors are rolling here tonight. And the Air Canada Center is like three blocks away from pick six. Have you charted the path? Do you know how many steps it would take from your courtside seats to right here? Get out of the arena is a solid 250, 300 at least. Yeah. If I had to take a guess, though, I would say, I would say 20, 100 steps. <laughs> There's a certain elegance in this place at Pick 6. Uh, Drake, can I pay with Bitcoin here? Good question. Is there a cryptocurrency shop that we can buy? Should we see if they, if they have I, a I have, I have Coinbase on my phone. I can fire it up. I have, and my password is has yeah. never been invited to the YOLO mansion. That's my password. <laughs> well, it's so. newly renovated, so you're welcome anytime. Okay, well, that, I, I, I hope to be there. That, that's a Chubb's question. I don't know if you can pay with Bitcoin. All right, well, we'll yeah, see. I think you can pay with TTC uh, tokens. tokens, though. This is a crazy life, but you and the six raised me right. In the movie Raging Bull, Jake LaMotta says, So give me a stage where this bull here can rage, and though I can fight, I'd much rather recite. That's entertainment. Over by the DJ booth, there is a stage. What do you foresee happening on that stage? Perhaps a birthday celebration with one of your friends? Is it like a Kevin Hart or Dave Chappelle in here? Or maybe a private roast for a Kyle Lowry or something? Ooh, yeah, I like it. All great suggestions. Um, I think that's what we put it there for. You know, hopefully, uh, I welcome I welcome all all entertainers that that have to uh, make a stop in this lovely city. You know, Dave goes into the smaller venues and gets loose. Yes. Um, I like to do the same thing. Maybe if my dad ever finds his way back here, we can. Oh, shout out to Dennis yeah. Graham. Hey, son. Hold my drink. Nice turtleneck. Kind of crazy. <laughs> Do you and your friends, when you play ping pong back there in the private room, is it for racks? Tell them I just want my racks. Racks on racks on racks. I haven't played yet. This, I, I actually, they just, they just, we just set it up obviously last night. When we play ping pong, yeah, we usually put something on the line because that's, that's the way things get fun. Will you come with your own, like with your own, your ping pong paddle? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You have your own. Oh, of course, yeah. Shout what out to. What do you think I'm gonna play with the generic? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. Come on. Now, is, it, is there a monogram on it? You, you look at the bottom. There's a little owl on the Baca, bottom. Baka for Christmas. 
Maka got me the, the Louis Vuitton paddle, so now, now I'm swinging in style, baby. You mentioned the private room before. Do you need one of those, like, to activate the sensor to get back in there? Guy, what do you... Guy, like, even... Like, Neil deGrasse Tyson doesn't even know what... <laughs> what's in this thing, my dude? This is like, just more of, like, sort of like a Liberace... Yeah. Sort of... Are you gonna get on the piano at some point? the key to the mayor's office. Yeah, yeah, John Tory, you just put it in the door. It's just me and him that have it, actually. Yeah. You live a privileged life. <laughs> we need some really big rings. 